everybody. Um, my name is Neil Ginsburg. I went to Gordon High School and I graduated in 1967. And I have a feeling there are a few people here that also did the same thing. And one of the joys of us getting together is we've had the opportunity to make friends with people who we either knew very well or didn't know at all. And it's been a real gift for all of us. And we're hoping that you might become part of our group because it will become much richer for having you all with us. And to start us off, Jim Sprantz would like to speak a little bit. Yeah, hi, I'm Jim Sprantz. Um, you know, I am probably the most unlikely member of this group. Um, I really didn't know any of you guys back in the day. Um, I don't think, I mean, we got, it was associated with you guys. I knew who you were, but we didn't know each other. Um, I basically was uh, a terrible student back in high school, um, a, a basic non-participant uh, in anything uh, extracurricular, any high school activity. Uh, I think I was more, um, more interested in hanging out in the corner and being uh, the proverbial rebel without a cause. Um, that was pretty much me. Um, after graduation, life kind of took over, and um, I really hadn't given Gorton High School uh, you know, a second thought in probably 40 years or so. And then one fateful day, nine years ago, late in 2011, I got an email. That email from a dear old childhood friend of mine by the name of Anne Marie Burke. Um, Anne Marie and I had uh, walked to PS9 elementary school from kindergarten to the sixth grade. Uh, my dad would uh, hold our hands as we walked there um, every day. Um, I, I got to know Anne Marie very well when I was a little kid. Um, but then after uh, um, PS9, um, we went to different junior high schools. And so I kind of lost track of, of Anne. Um, and even though um, we both wound up in Gorton for our high school years, um, we never really did reconnect. Um, so for me, it was really, really a special treat to, uh, to hear from her. Um, even though Anne Marie was, um, how would I describe it? Annoyingly persistent uh, in trying to get me to come to the 45th reunion. Um, something I had absolutely zero interest in doing. Um, Anne Marie kept calling me, emailing me, and she eventually wore me down. And, and I'm really glad she did. Um, you know, and I think a lot of you folks out there who are listening uh, or seeing us for the first time are probably, probably much, very much like that, is not having any interest uh, initially. Um, I think one of the purposes of what we're doing today is to maybe get you to change your mind a little bit or at least become open to the possibility. Um, you know, the um, truth be known that I finally did agree to go to the 45th reunion. Um, but uh, as embarrassing as it is to say, I really think that my motive for going to that reunion was to kind of show all the the the, the movers and shakers of the, of the class, how um, a ne'er-do-well like myself, uh, um, you know, from the wrong side of the tracks, basically, uh, actually had a fairly successful life. It's something I'm embarrassed about, uh, but that, you know, honest to God, was one of my reasons. Um, in any case, I went. Now, when the time to go to the, the reunion came up, I was really kind of anxious um, about the whole thing. Um, would anybody know me? Would anybody talk to me? Um, you know, it's um, it, it, it was uh, it was a concern of mine. Um, but in the end, I can remember very very well walking into the hotel in Tarrytown for that first reunion, the forty fifth, being welcomed like I was a dear old friend from somewhere. I mean, I was absolutely totally blown away, and that was you know my um, my continuing experience at that first weekend. I never expected that to happen at all. I really didn't. I had a wonderful time. Um, I renewed some old acquaintances, um, but even better yet, uh, I met a whole lot of old new friends, as, as I've been calling them. 
um, who have become very dear to me um, over the past nine years. Um, you know, at, at the age that we're at right now, we don't make friends a whole lot, you know, at, at this particular age, uh, especially close friends. But I really feel a closeness to all the people I've been working with uh, on, on this uh, committee. As a matter of fact, Anne-Marie was so darn persistent that she had me actually working on the, on the reunion committee for the 45th, <laughs> uh, which was really quite amazing. I mean, this was so totally unexpected uh, for me. Um, as, as Donald told me, I remember talking to Donald Pitches about this, and, and Donald told me, I remember this so well, he says, Jim, it took us 50 years, but I think we're one of the cool kids now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that, Donald? <laughs> you did, I promise you. You need your uh, sound on, Don. <laughs> um, as an aside, I just want to you know, tell you a quick story about Anne-Marie, because uh, I think Anne-Marie is going to be the thread that you're going to hear through this conversation that, that we're, we're doing this afternoon. Um, the reason that one of the reasons why I went to the reunion was I wanted to dance with Anne-Marie Burke. <laughs> now, that sounds kind of strange, but Anne-Marie Burke was my dance partner in the sixth grade dance lessons that were held at PS9 on Friday nights. Um, and uh, I can remember learning to do the cha-cha and the foxtrot and all that kind of stuff. And Anne-Marie was my partner, my learning partner. Uh, it, was, it was really quite something. However, as in the lead up to the, uh, to the reunion, uh, I realized, and Anne-Marie told me that how ill she was. And she was terminally ill at that point. Um, and she said, you know, Jim, I don't think I'm going to I'm going to be there, and I said, "Not the case, Amory. You're going to be there, and I'm coming, and we're going to have that dance." And you know what, guys, we did, uh, and uh, that that you know really chokes me up a little bit, right, even right now. Um, anyway, we lost her shortly thereafter, as we all know. What a loss that was to to all of us. Um, but I continued to work uh, on the committee when the 50th reunion came along. Um, and um, by then, my new old friends were really good friends. Uh, and that really means a lot to me this, to this day. Uh, you know, like I said before, that's something that just doesn't happen uh, as, as we get to this age. Um, and now I'm doing the same thing for the 55th reunion. Um, I've got a number of bosses uh, here. Uh, I think all the four people that you see next to me are kind of my boss. Um, I'm doing the music for the, uh, for the reunion as I have for the past two, uh, but also I've become involved uh, with trying to find some of uh, our old classmates. Um, and, th and that's been a very rewarding you know, thing for me to do. Uh, I've reconnected with some, some kids. I like, I, call, I like calling myself kids, uh, you know, from way back in the sixth grade. Or, and, uh, you know, uh, and, and that's been a, a really rewarding, wonderful experience. Uh, I'll go so far as to call it a blessing. It, uh, it, it really is. It's, uh, it's been really, really special. So, you know, I've taken up more time than I should have, um, but I just want to say that my message to everybody out there who's listening you know, to us today um, is that um, don't dismiss this opportunity. Um, this is not only a Gorton opportunity. This is a life opportunity. Uh, it, it really, truly is. Um, if my unlikely very gratifying experience, uh, you know, that I've just tried to describe, uh, you know, it resonates with you. Guys, it can be yours. Um, it can't hurt. You know, please, please join us. Uh, try it. Um, you know, you won't be sorry. So thank you, Jim. That period. is really great. Um, I think, why don't we hear now from Lynn? Okay, thank you. Uh, Lynn Cody Gorey also went to that same school with all of you. Um, I think Jim put all of this into the perspective of the message that we're trying to get out to you. And you're gonna hear the thread of Ann Burke. And so that's what we're dedicating this to. And uh, she's the person that got, um, Ann and I were very close friends in school. And then we, you know, people go their own ways, but then we reconnected later in life. And she started uh, with the persistence of we have to do a reunion. Marianne Vokasik, the same thing. And these are relentless women. And then it was Donald Pitches they added to that, the other relentless man added into the story. And all, all I kept thinking was, oh, there's so much work involved in this. Oh, there's so much work involved in it. But somehow they, you know, everyone decided to just, uh, let's just try to do it and we'll see how it goes. We wanted it to be really nice. We wanted to get people together. 
and then uh, got very ill and she you know, got progressively ill during that time and it became, and then I learned about Jim Sprance. I didn't know that much about Jim Sprance, but I learned about the dance and I learned that that's what we were doing. And she just kept saying to me, we're not talking about me being sick. We're just gonna have this party and that's the way it's gonna be. And, and she took care of all the money. Uh, she, she kept all the bookkeeping of everything. And she, she kept getting us together as Donald did and kept reaching out to people and saying, this is something, and, and I think looking back now, we knew this was something we really needed to do. And we did it. And we're all very, we were all very happy to see each other again and realize that we saw each other as, as different people then and, and got the chance to connect in person because that was at a time where we could actually get together in person. And then the second time that we decided to do this was after she was gone. Um, and it, the, but the first one had that, had I think the special meaning to us afterwards because we knew that was the reason that that was really one of the main reasons we needed to do it. And I think Donald will touch upon how, you know, getting connected to somebody like at that point in time of having Donald there had a great um, meaning for her and her family when we were there at the end for Anne and for her son. You know, and, and seeing the spirit of Anne and her son, uh, you don't doubt that Anne's alive you know, when you meet him. So we've had that great experience. And then we continued on with that with the, another reunion and then Pat, who, um, who I remember is Patsy, but Pat, Pat got not asked anymore. at one point, not anymore. She's not, and, and, and some uh, asked, um, did anyone know how to do anything with Zoom? And I said, well, yeah, I've had to use Zoom. So this is how we got started having Zoom meetings amongst our friends, our old friends and our old new friends at a totally, um, just, to, just to see if anyone else really wanted to connect. Cause now we're at a time where you really can't get together with a lot of people. And like was said before, um, it's hard. You know, we don't make that type of friends at this point that necessarily have that same connection to where we all came from. So this is where we had a lot of common experiences together and we all could be di different, but we did have this common experience at the time when we were really becoming the people that we are. And we really like getting to know more people. And that's why one of the focus areas that you'll hear more about is trying to find more of us so that we can have this experience and share this and get to know the get to know better the people that we did go to school with, and we have found it really a lot of fun, and hope that more people would want to continue to join us. And eventually, when we can all get together in person, we'll have another reunion. So next, I'd like to introduce Pat Kent, oh. Pat Campbell. Kent, are you supposed to go last? <laughs> no, it doesn't make any difference. Um, okay. Hello, I'm Pat Campbell, Kent, um, and you. Um, I went to, I guess, the last, the first two years, seven and eighth grade, then went to Emerson, and then came back for nine through 12. And um, kind of like Jim, I never had a lot of uh, ex experience with um, Gorton students outside of school. I always had an after school job. I had a busy life and so forth. And so um, <laughs> there was one party I went to at someone's house <laughs> that I was invited to. Um, and that was very fun. But other than that, um, I, I, you know, I, I graduated, I went off to college and never looked back as Don says, or life happens. And so I'm not even sure how people found me, but I got an invitation in the mail. I think it was from Don. And um, at, I was really kind of nervous about attending a, a reunion when I hadn't known anybody for the past 45 years. But on that group list that was at that time um, handled by Howard Hershenfeld, I found out that Barbara Reiner McIntyre and Barbara Rand and at that time Kathleen Holland were all in our Bay Area of San Francisco. So we got together for uh, lunch a couple of times and I felt more comfortable in, in getting together. Barbara actually twisted my arm and she, <laughs> she said, you've got to do this. I'm going, you have to, you have to go too. Little did I know that she had a whole gang of girls to <laughs> go back to, to see. But anyway, so um, I was working full time at the time and, um, and I called up Howard Hershenfeld to tell him that my email address was changing. And he said, Pat, you know, I don't think I can continue doing this any longer. Would you do it? 
So I thought about it and I said, let me get back to you on that. And Barbara, again, encouraged me to do it. So all of a sudden I took over the group email list and there were several blanks in that email list. So um, at that time, I went to the 45th, was really glad I did, like Jim. Um, saw people I hadn't seen in 45 years, good friends, old friends um, from school, Don included. And then somehow um, from being the keeper of the list, um, Don encouraged me to get involved with the reunion committee. And then all of a sudden I, <laughs> I was um, more involved than I had anticipated. But the part that I enjoy to this day is trying to find people. It gives me an excuse to call up and say, or. Jim has started to reach out to people by mail if he can find an address and nine out of 10 times people are really happy that we found them and that we care and we do. So um, I would just say um, whether you knew us in high school or not, um, we're all different people than we were there then and um, I like us all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I all these I, I don't know whether it's new old friends or old new friends um but the the um the group keeps expanding and that's exciting we must be doing something right and I would just encourage everyone to look at that group email list that I send out if you notice one name on it pick up the phone and call them or send them a le uh, an email and say hey I'm, you know, Pat Kent, I went to Gorton High School. I'd love to find out what you're, what's, what's up. And also one last thing is when we are able to get together again, whether it's for a reunion in 22 for our 55th, or just um, if it's it, before then, if the pandemic is over, we'd love to start having regional mini reunions. So take a look at your list and see who lives nearby and who you might get together with for dinner or, or something like that at lunch. Um, that's about all I have to say. Don? <laughs> You, it, Don is the instigator. He is our spiritual uh, leader, our spirit that keeps us all together. Mm -hmm. One of the sad things also I want to say is um, the, the growing immemorial list that I send out of people who have passed. And um, it's always sad. I, 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 my heart breaks every time I add a name. So yeah. I try to wait until we have some good news to share. So um, hopefully we'll have some good news soon. Thank you. Yes, you've done a marvelous job, Pat. And it's really been a treat to speak more regularly with you, with Jim, with Neil, with Lynn, Mary Ann. Um, for those that don't remember me, my name is Donald Pitches. I was the class clown. Uh, I went under an alias most of the high school. Uh, People called me Foo in junior high school. I remember that. And it followed me throughout the high school career. I remember having a wonderful time at Gorton, not as a student, but as a social life. And the uh, football games, basketball games, the uh, preparation for floats, that's where uh, I really remembered everyone. And so reconnecting began with curiosity. Uh, where, where was the old gang? What happened to them? Because honestly, I had no connection with any of you for 35, 40 years almost. Even my closest friend who at that time was Larry Smith, we lost contact and only occasionally were able to reconnect. So I just began wondering. And I come from a long line of Gortonites. Uh, all of my siblings, uh, three older siblings, went to Gorton and graduated. Uh, four or five nieces and nephews coming after us graduated from Gorton. And even I found an aunt and an uncle who were Gortonites back in the 30s and the 40s. Uh, so I had a great love for Gorton, 
like the history, the family connections. So uh, it was over Facebook that we began to reconnect. And on Facebook, put out the offer, let's meet. I think our first dinner may be in Nyack uh, uh, on the west side of the Hudson. And we had such a wonderful time. There was about a dozen of us. I know, um, Lynn, you were there, and Mary Ann, and Karen Smith, and uh, even Mr. Uh, who came? Bob Foley came. So uh, it was enlightening. And then we began to discuss let's do a reunion, let's invite more people. And as it's been mentioned, Anne was really persistent, but we began to meet regularly. Uh, dinners in Ardsley, Tarrytown, White Plains, back in Nyack, and slowly built up to the 45th reunion. What was that, 2012? And for the majority of people, it was a wonderful time to reconnect. I know there were some that uh, maybe it wasn't as wonderful for them, but for the most part, it was great to see people. There are others I know who have said, oh, I just wanna keep my high school memories. Uh, I don't really need to know. And, and we've respected that and we understand that. But as someone said in this interview, We've changed so much, we've grown, we've had such different life experiences and joys and sorrows. And as adults, we get to know one another at a different level and put the pieces of a great mosaic together. For me, it's been a real joy to learn about your families, about your careers, and about the joys and sorrows of life. And also get to share in that. So if you're interested in an experience such as that, I'd really encourage you to touch base with one of us, hook up to a Zoom meeting, respond to an email, and just be part of this great, uh, I'd say green and white Gorton color mosaic, but it's much, much brighter and more vivid and more expansive than that. So that's that's my commercial for. You know, it's, it's interesting because unlike the other four people, I did not go to the 45th. Mm -hmm. And, but I spoke with Anne a lot. And mm -hmm. that was part of a gift for me yeah. that Anne and I got to reconnect. Um, and of course, it was very sad when Anne died. Uh, and frankly, I wasn't even sure I was going to go to the 50th. And I guess a few people talked to me and I said, you know what? I think I'll go on Friday night. You know, that would mm -hmm. be enough. And I remember going there. It was really wonderful. It was really nice seeing everybody. And I didn't remember a number of people. Uh, and I remembered some, but I wasn't, you know, I always thought of myself in high school as somebody who really didn't take any advantage of high school. And you know, it was always like, okay, I had fun, but nothing with school. And, you know, I saw friends. And then when I was gone, I was gone. And, you know, Gordon was behind me. Yeah. And then I went on that Friday night and I was thinking, oh, that's just all I need. I don't need Saturday, Saturday night, Sunday. Friday night was enough. And then Donald reached out at a certain point And, you know, we, I went to one of these dinners and it was really a lot of fun. And then suddenly now there's the opportunity to talk about, you know, this new thing, a reunion, getting to know people, getting to know people in a way that we really didn't know them. And it's very exciting. And so what we're trying to do now is find different ways in which to do that. And yeah. one of the things that someone suggested was that we do some video interviews and they could be single interviews or group interviews, pairs. And we're going to do, and we have a number of questions and stuff, but it will be 
an opportunity for everybody to be able to see everyone else and what they've done. And of course, you will have final control over your video. So if you don't like something, that won't be in it. Um, but this has been a joy for me. And, you know, having conversations with the people that you see on the screen now and other people as well that are in this larger committee. And we really want you to join. As much as you want to join, join. I didn't want to join anything. I'm thrilled that I did. <laughs> this has been an important part of my life. And now it's reconnecting this stupid kid in elementary school, PS 16, and Gorton Junior High School in Emerson for one year and then back to Gorton to finish it up. And it was like, I never thought, you know, okay, this is done. Um, this has been great. This has been great. And I hope you have the same experience that the five of us clearly have. And I know so many others as well from different conversations we've had about this. Um, does anybody have a final thought that they'd like to add? Because uh, we certainly want all of you in and um, you know, we're happy to uh, have you as part of our new brotherhood and sisterhood. Donald. Well, Jim did say in one of his emails, we are planning the 55th class reunion in 2021. Two. Uh, Two. 22, yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, end of April, is it? End of Correct. Uh, last week, end of April, first day of May, uh, we'll be in Tarrytown again, probably at the Marriott. That's where we're reaching out to and just save the date. And, and you know, Don, have you, you, I believe you've posted something on classmates about that. Yes. Um, have you posted anything on Facebook? There's a couple of uh, Gorton High School class of 67 Facebook groups. Mm, I don't remember if I did that yet or not. But he will, right? <laughs> You see, everybody, who, who are the bosses here? Yes. And there's one more reason. There's one more reason to consider going to the reunion. To and give Neil a hard time. And that's to see Donald dressed up in his tuxedo. What a dapper reverend he is. <laughs> oh, I, I, I want to see Donald in his kilt. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going there. I think we'll just let that be. <laughs> He's Scottish. He has an excuse. Lynn, any right. final Just thoughts? start off by joining us on a Zoom. We weren't sure how this was going to go at the beginning, and it was really quite comical at the beginning. <laughs> but but we did get better at it, and we were actually met. We managed to really have conversations um, together, and you know, within a group, and it's very safe, and you don't have to be afraid. So if you just want to join a Zoom, we try to do them pretty regularly and we hope we, that you would join us. Yes. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Thanks. Peace. Love. <laughs> bye. bye, Neil. Stop your recording. Bye now. I was saying bye <laughs> to all the people watching. <laughs> <laughs> Donald, look.